Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to split models for 3D printing, whether it be you have an object that is too large for your printer, maybe you're struggling with printing certain parts, whatever the case may be, I'm covering two different methods in today's video. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so we're going to jump straight in. So I am using Cura, and what we're going to be doing is the first method, which actually is not going to work for this particular model, but I've seen this as an error that happens for some people online, so I did want to show for those of you it may work for. We're going to be using mesh tools, but I will cover a second method outside of Cura separately. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we will go over to our marketplace. So you'll open up your STL file, which isn't really needed because we'll restart Cura anyway. And then here you will type in mesh tools. Then what you can do is you can scroll through and you're looking for the mesh tools option and you can go ahead and install that. It should require a restart so you can close Cura after it's been installed and restart. And then typically all you'll need to do is you can select your model right click and you'll see mesh tools and now you have the option to actually do several different things so you can analyze the mesh and see different summaries different pieces of information but there is an option in mesh tools so when you click this you'll see split into parts now you'll see I have an error here, it cannot be split into sub meshes. Now there are a variety of different resources you can find online to see if this is something that you can overcome. However, there is an easier method to use outside of Cura. Now if this is something, for example, if your model is something that can be split into sub meshes, then you'll be able to manage the process from there. And you can find more resources online if you're interested to kind of navigate how to use those mesh tools a little bit further. But what we're going to be covering next is how to do this exact same thing outside of Cura and then you can actually re-import it into Cura. So we'll minimize this and you'll see we have Tinkercad set up. So you can go to your Tinkercad homepage, it's a free website, at least at the time of filming this video, and you'll see you have your work plane here just like you would in Cura. Now in Tinkercad you have the option to import and you can choose a file and we will choose the exact same file that we were just looking at in Cura, and we will go ahead and click Import. Now, there are likely a variety of different ways that you can do this, but for me personally, I've found <clears> through <throat> different resources online, you can go through and you can actually create a box similar to this right here, or a cylinder, or whatever shape. Now, when you place the box, you'll see it's a hole. So you can choose a solid option to create what would be printed or a hole to create basically nothing. So the idea here is you can get on this working plane. And if we wanted to split this object, let's just say down the middle, you can work out whatever it is that your measurements are going to be. So for example, if we wanted to split this object in half, so this is the Codeless Fix logo, so you can check out tons of different tech tutorials on codelessfix.com. But basically, I just have this logo here, and then you can select both, right click, and when you, uh, or actually there's a group option right here, so instead of right clicking. Now you'll see we have effectively split the object in half. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, how are we going to fuse these together? So you'll have a few different options, depending on how you see it fit to kind of best manipulate or manage this. So <clears throat> you do have the option, if we wanted to, you could place an object kind of like this right here. And then you'll have a working plane that you can utilize on this object. So there are a variety of different ways that you can kind of manage how this would work. But the idea here is when you select it, you'll see that you have tons of different options up here, along with different working planes here. So basically what you can do is you can manage your working plane and try to figure out, okay, if we decided that we wanted this object split at a different angle, for example you have a couple of choices. So the easiest route would be to put this hole right here, and then you could repeat the process and combine the two. And then you'll see we now have this split diagonally, and then you could cut the other piece in the exact opposite way. And 
basically what you'll see right here is that would give you a place to fuse them together. Now you'll have to figure out what methods are going to work for you because there are tons of different objects and ways that you could manage doing this. But the idea here is you can utilize these working planes in um, basically just in Tinkercad. I have other videos with more detail on this, so you can feel free to check out my channel. There's a 3D printing playlist, but you could actually on this plane create a diagonal hole, or you could create kind of like interlocking pieces, really whatever makes the most sense for you. Now, once we have this piece cut in half and we decide we want to export and import into Cura, we can click the export button, choose the STL option, and I already have that downloaded. So what we can do next is find our model or if you want we can start from scratch by deleting it and then we have a couple of different options but we can just choose open file and then you'll see this is the download from today and you'll see that this is the half that we previously split. So again, you have two options total in quick summary. The first one is when you go to Mesh Tools, once you've installed it, you can split into parts. If you have any errors, then you can open that STL in Tinkercad or another program, find the best way to split it, and then go from there. Now, if you have any other tips or tricks or questions or maybe bits of advice, feel free to drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.